Okay, so take a look at this. You may remember just last week, a landscaping truck crashed into this building in Elk Grove. A man inside was trapped between the truck and debris. Tonight, ABC 10's Gars Paul Sanga spoke to the family about the slow process of recovering. The dentist's office is boarded up as the work to fix this building is underway. But for one person, the journey to get his life back is just beginning. So he thinks it's been two days. So I'm grateful he only thinks it's been two days. A week has gone by. Yeah. I, Kim Mex Berglund is trying to wrap her mind. It's like your life taking a direct turn, a big left turn that you didn't expect. Around this accident that sent her husband Bob Berglund and their entire family on this uncertain road. Life is unpredictable. A road that has kept them at Kaiser Permanente South Sacramento for the past week, fighting and praying small progress every day leads to big results. Patience is what he needs right now, which is really hard. Fighting for his life in the ICU, but stable. He was a Navy trained dental repair tech. Berglund was at the Laguna Park Dentistry near Franklin Boulevard and Laguna Park Drive, installing new equipment. Elk Grove police say a landscaping truck was going southbound on Franklin when it went off the road and into the building. The truck pinned Berglund between the truck's hood and debris from the crash, and he was alive through it all. The Navy veteran suffered a fractured skull, shoulder, ribs, back, and leg injuries. The doctors, they can't believe he's not dead. And I think the fact that he was tall. Soon, Kim and their blended family with seven kids learned Bob was rushed into brain surgery. The back and the head right now are the things that are causing him the most pain. Really bad headaches, uh, blurriness, dizziness, trying to get him to eat. He has not have, had an appetite. She says the most challenging part is the uncertainty this ordeal has brought. But each day has brought small wins as Berglund is slowly trying to remember the past 30 years of his life. I just have to be uncomfortable with not knowing and just take one day at a time and, you know, just enjoy the moment that he's happier. The road to recovery will be long as the family has set up a GoFundMe page as the medical bills pile up. And you can find that under this story on ABC 10. Dot com.